Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. In a recent statement posted on social media by the Russian Ministry of Defense, military personnel from the Ural Military District, deployed within the Western Forces Group in the Ukrainian theater, were reportedly rewarded with a significant bonus of 500,000 rubles, equivalent to approximately 3,000 euros, for successfully destroying a Leopard 2 tank. This substantial bonus, when compared to the average monthly salary in Russia, underscores the significance attached to neutralizing this formidable adversary on the battlefield. The Leopard 2 tank, considered one of the premier main battle tanks in the world, is a critical asset deployed by Ukrainian forces through donations from several Western nations, including Germany, Poland, and Spain. Equipped with composite armor, additional armor kits, and formidable firepower from its L-55 120mm cannon, developed with Soviet armor specifications in mind, the Leopard 2 poses a formidable threat to Russian armored units. The strategic importance of the Leopard 2 as a counter to Russian tanks has made its destruction a priority for Russian military commands. The generous bonus offered to personnel for successfully destroying a Leopard 2 reflects the value attributed to eliminating this high-priority target on the battlefield. Despite the fearsome reputation of the Leopard 2, recent reports indicate that many of these tanks deployed by Ukrainian forces are now out of service, primarily due to shortages of spare parts and amateur repair attempts. According to sources tracking vehicle destruction in recent conflicts, such as the ORYX website, approximately 29 Leopard 2 tanks have been destroyed in Ukraine, with many more likely unaccounted for. Out of the 61 tanks confirmed as delivered, half are reportedly out of service, with a significant portion deemed unfit for combat. Videos and open source intelligence, OSINT, sources suggest that Ukrainian forces are increasingly relying on artillery in the absence of operational battle tanks. However, the Leopard 2 played a pivotal role in supporting Ukrainian counteroffensives in 2023, despite suffering significant losses. Today, the primary threat to deployed tanks in Ukraine comes from FPV drones. In comparing the financial aspects of the Leopard 2A6 tank and the incentives provided by Russia for its destruction, a significant asymmetry emerges. While the Leopard 2A6 tank is priced at approximately $8.42 million, the bonus offered by Russia for its destruction is a mere fraction of this cost at €3,000. This discrepancy underscores the economic imbalance in warfare tactics, where the incentive to destroy high-value equipment is disproportionately low compared to the equipment's value. Despite the economic disparity, the strategic imperative to neutralize high-value assets like the Leopard 2 remains a top priority for military forces engaged in conflict zones, reflecting the complex dynamics of modern warfare. That's all for now. See you later.